Hey, I'm Dave. Welcome to my shop. I'm Dave Plummer, a retired operating systems engineer from Microsoft, going back to the MS-DOS and Windows 95 days. And today we're going to dive deep into a topic that's vital for every Windows user, whether you're a seasoned tech veteran or a casual PC user. We're talking about the five biggest mistakes that many Windows users make. Mistakes that can ruin your day, your week, or even your entire digital life. By avoiding these mistakes, you can protect your data, enhance your system security, and keep your computing life smooth and worry-free. Stick around because we're going to thoroughly discuss each of these mistakes, explain precisely why they're dangerous, and then give you actionable steps to prevent them from ever happening to you. First up, mistake number one, not backing up your BitLocker recovery key. Now, BitLocker is Microsoft's built-in encryption tool, and it's fantastic at safeguarding your data. It encrypts your drive so thoroughly that if anything goes wrong, like a hardware upgrade, a BIOS update, or even a forgotten password, you will absolutely need the recovery key. Without this key, your encrypted data is essentially gone forever with no chance of recovery. The internet is filled with heartbreaking stories of users who didn't save their keys and who permanently lost valuable or irreplaceable data. And a lot of folks just say, well, I'm not using BitLocker, I didn't turn it on. But are you sure? Are you sure it didn't default to on for your drive? Are you confident enough to risk all of your data on that recollection? The solution is straightforward, but often overlooked during initial setup. BitLocker prompts you to save your recovery key, and the key itself is just a small text file or a string of characters. My strong recommendation is to save it in multiple locations. Store it securely in your Microsoft account. This is probably the easiest and the safest method. Additionally, print a physical copy and place it somewhere secure like a safe or a locked drawer. You can even save it to an encrypted cloud storage account. Redundancy is your friend here because it guarantees you'll have access to your key when disaster strikes. Now, mistake number two, delaying or ignoring critical Windows updates. Now, let's face it, Windows updates have a notorious reputation. They're seen as disruptive, annoying, and sometimes even intrusive. But the reality is, these updates serve a crucial purpose beyond simply adding new features or tweaking user interfaces. They're often patching security holes that malicious attackers are actively exploiting. You can put them off as an inconvenient interruption of your workflow, but you do so at your own peril. Consider this. As soon as Microsoft releases an update that inadvertently becomes a signal to the hackers, they immediately know exactly what vulnerabilities have been patched and start crafting exploits targeting systems that haven't been patched yet. So when you're running outdated software, you're essentially advertising that you are vulnerable. So it's crucial to take control of your update schedule. Set Windows updates to run during hours when you're not actively using your computer, like overnight. If an update notification appears during your work, schedule it explicitly rather than ignoring it. Updates are your first line of defense against many threats, including ransomware, malware, and identity theft. The third critical mistake is relying on outdated or unsupported antivirus software. Many users assume that having antivirus software at all means that you're protected. But the truth is that antivirus software that's out of date can be more dangerous than no antivirus at all because it gives a false sense of security while leaving you vulnerable. Malware and viruses evolve daily, sometimes hourly. This rapid pace of development means that outdated antivirus definitions are quickly rendered useless. Using software that's no longer updated or worse, unsupported by its developers, exposes you to new threats every single day. Microsoft Defender, Windows' built-in antivirus solution, has improved dramatically in recent years and now offers robust protection for most users, as long as you regularly update Windows itself. Whether you're using Defender or some other antivirus solution, ensure it's always current, supported, and updated. Regularly checking for software updates manually can add another layer of confidence in your digital security. If it were me, I'd just run Defender, which is what I do. I actually hired one of the top guys that works on it today, and I trust him, and so you should too. It's good enough that I just don't see the need for third-party antivirus software at this time. Now, mistake number four is ignoring drive health warnings. Every drive, whether it's an SSD or a traditional mechanical hard drive, these days gives clear warning signs when something is wrong. Yet many users ignore these signs or aren't even aware that they exist until it's too late. Drive failures are almost never completely sudden. They typically provide ample warning. Now, you might assume that the system would make a big deal of such things, but if you've tinkered with notification pop-up preferences to keep your system a little more quiet, it's possible that they've been muted or that you will simply miss it when it does appear. The onus is really on you to check them periodically, as in every several months. Common indicators include frequent freezes, system slowdowns, file corruption, long boot times, or unusual noises like clicking from traditional drives. Windows itself includes built-in tools like CheckDisk and SMART, which stands for Self-Monitoring, Analysis, and Reporting Technology. These are reports that can alert you to drive issues. 
Additionally, third-party tools like Crystal Disk Info offer easy-to-understand drive health checks. Make it a habit to periodically run those diagnostic tools. If your drive shows any early signs of failure, back your data up immediately and consider cloning your drive to a new one. Early intervention can save you from a catastrophic loss of valuable data, including personal files, family photos, or critical documents. Finally, mistake number five, and it's the biggest one that I worry about, using your administrator account for your daily activities. Many users set their Windows system up and use the default administrator account for everyday tasks. While it seems convenient to have full privileges and you feel like user account control protects you, it still poses a significant risk. The problem is simple but profound. Any program you run, including accidentally executed malware, inherits those full administrator privileges, if they're active. Malicious software with admin privileges can perform devastating actions like modifying system files, installing persistent malware, encrypting your files with ransomware, and even spy on your keystrokes and passwords. And the solution is simple. Use a standard user account for your everyday tasks. Windows will prompt you to authorize with admin credentials only when necessary, and then you use the admin account. This small inconvenience greatly reduces the likelihood of a catastrophic malware infection. Setting up separate accounts is straightforward and takes just a few minutes. Maintain your admin account strictly for administrative tasks like installing software or changing system settings. Your regular daily tasks like web browsing, email, document editing should always happen from a limited, standard account. This practice is one of the most effective ways to minimize your security risks. So let's recap to solidify these points. Number one, always back up your BitLocker recovery keys in multiple secure places. This practice can literally save your data. Number two, never ignore or delay Windows updates. Regular updates are critical for closing security gaps and for keeping your system protected. Number three, keep your antivirus software current and updated. Regular updates ensure that your defenses can handle the latest threats. Number four, act immediately on drive health warnings. Early detection and intervention will protect your valuable data. And number five, use a standard user account for daily tasks. It significantly reduces the risk of severe malware infections and catastrophic system compromises. And these aren't hypothetical risks. They're real-world problems affecting users every day. By proactively addressing each of these common pitfalls, you're protecting your digital life and ensuring a smoother computing experience. Thanks for joining me out here in the shop today. If you found today's episode to be at all informative or entertaining, please remember that I'm mostly in this for the subs and likes, so I'd be honored if you'd consider leaving me one of each before you go today. And in the meantime, and in between time, I'll see you next time, right here in Dave's Garage. This little chair will be waiting for one of you, and a rocking chair for another who likes to rock, and a big armchair for two to curl up in. All next time on Dave's Garage.